G'day everyone and I am back. So this one is, this video is a collection of a lot of little projects that I have done over the last couple of weeks for um, Mad About Scrappin's design team and I think most of them are and a couple that are just for myself as well. So the first one that I'll share with you is um, my little altered mousetrap. Um, a couple of weeks ago I put a challenge out to Tash that we should try these out that, that um, I really like them and that I had a drawer full of mouse traps just waiting to be altered. Um, I went and brought a packet of six so I still have a few more that I can do and then Tash put a challenge up on Artistic Creations which is an Australian and New Zealand site that we are a part of um, for to create something pretty for your fridge so I thought well I'll combine the two and I'll alter a mouse trap and I'll turn it into a fridge magnet. So that's what I have done. So I've just used some um, music paper, actual uh, left from a music book, and some corrugated cardboard that I've um, give a bit of a whitewash with some watered down um, white acrylic paint. And then I inked all the edges with the Tim Holtz Victorian velvet distress ink. And then I just added a paper flower, some lace. Um, I painted the steel mousetrap bit with some some uh, antique white acrylic paint. I actually took it out and painted it and covered the block, um, the little mousetrap, all in one piece. But when I put it back together, it came went back together a bit crooked, but never mind. <laughs> but it still works, and you can stick stick your notes and stuff underneath there not your fingers um and yeah and stick it to the fridge so i have a really cute little um pretty pink acrylic bird that i got from peter in iraq and the little heart was also from peter yeah. and then i just created a um, seam binding bow and a little um butterfly charm to hang off as well so so that was my altered mousetrap and next was this was probably my very very last project for scotty's design team and they sent me the gorgeous papers by graphic 45 uh sweet sentiments i think they were and i created a jumbo sized tag for easter so i have just used all the, the purple and i've done some fussy cutting and laid up on some dimensional tape um, the little boy and girl and I used a memory box die a little picket fence memory box die tuck them behind it and then I cut the sentiment out from the paper collection as well and then these are just some paper flowers uh, these came with my design team kit but then this was one that I had and I sprayed it with some Lindy scent game um, and then it's just um, plain on the back to put a scent, scent like put a sentiment or write something or yeah so that's that was that one. My next one is this was a design team project for Mad About Scrappin. Um, it was just a simple little shabby chic gift bag. Um, I think it was done around just before Valentine's Day, maybe. Um, and I just made a lovely shabby chic tag to go with it. So, nice little gift set to send someone in a swap or as a as a rack so I've just laid it up with one of my crocheted flowers and some feathers some pearl spray um, a vintage image here and then this is some ephemera that I've printed out from the internet um, it's I've got it actually got it off Pinterest so and then on the back I just have a printed piece of paper and I've left it plain I love doing these and they make great um, great gift ideas and I do do the back of the bag as well um, so makes a nice unique way of um, giving you gifts so and my next project is these lovely little candlestick holders sorry guys um, I made these out of some just some tin cans and I completely covered the tin can with um, Mod Podge and then glued the hessian to it um, and ran a band of lace and tulle and then topped it off with one of my crocheted flowers and 
um, pearl sprays and some fiber trim and some seam binding and some lace. I really love how these turned out. I think they're gorgeous. They would look great on a, as um, wedding decorations on a country themed wedding. I think they're wonderful. So that was those ones. And then my last project to share with you is two. It's um, two sh frames that I've altered. And again, this was for my design team project for Mad About Scrappin'. And I got a lot of embellishments in my last kit and I just wanted to show some different ways to use them up and um, not just on a 12 by 12 layout so, or a mini album. So the first, my first wooden frame is, well I actually painted it antique white and then I stamped on some tissue paper um, and then I laid it over the frame and then gave it another thin light watered down coat of antique white paint again and then just teamed it up with the black um, so the cutouts are from uh, the store and all of the flowers are from the store but the bling is from uh, what I had in my stash so uh, which way this way so that was the first one the second one is a bit more of a shabby pink kind of a feel. It's probably <laughs> more me. I really like these kind of colours here. And the paper I've used for this are just some scraps I had left over from an old Kaiser Craft collection. I think it was um, it was a big pad that I got called Precious Moments or Precious Precious Moments. I think it was Precious Moments. Um, and I've just ripped up the, the layers and glued them down um, and then edged it with some pearl and rhinestone bling some really fine lace um, another laser cut word also from mad about scrap and store and then some flowers some of the paper flowers and then this is just some um, of that lovely um, lace that you get you guys all know the lace and I've just cut the leaf parts out of it and um, layered the flowers and everything on top sorry about all the arms guys but that's it that's my project share i think i'm finally all caught up now and yeah so thanks for watching bye